I'm going to tell you about the, one of the worst days of my life. Uh, it's the end of my seventh grade year, and summer's here. I'm waking up, it's early in the morning, and it's the day of my trip. I'm going to visit my grandparents in Georgia, and it's going to be the first time being on a plane, airport, new experience, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm running around the house trying to help my mom with whatever she can. I live with my mom and my two sisters. I'm doing whatever I can to help my mom out pack, just bring everything to the front door, meticulously organizing everything, telling who's going to carry what, trying to be the middle road that I can be. And we're waiting for the shuttle to arrive. It's about 30 minutes, and it finally arrives. I'm the first one out the door. I'm telling my mom what to do, trying to be somewhat authoritative. And I'm telling my sister to just get in the van over there. We're going to have a few hours to plane the parts. And I'm nervous, I'm shaking, I don't know how to react at this point, but we're on the freeway, we're finally driving, and my nerves are kind of calm. Uh, 45 minutes goes by, we're at LAX, we arrive at the airport, and everything kind of goes to I'm nervous all over again. I'm saying in this environment that I've only seen in the theaters you know, at the airport. So we head in, we tip the driver, we head into the airport, we check a few bags, I'm kind of wondering, Lord, where we go now, you know, I'm talking to my mom. She tells us to someone go to the security and long, treacherous line. I don't really look forward to staying in. And I'm carrying my backpack, uh, this black suitcase, and this red, white, blue patriotic bag that has nothing but snacks, goodies, and coloring books and food stuff for my little sister and I. So we head off to the security line, and we're standing in line, and my, it's my mom, my two sisters, and myself in the very back. And I'm, we're waiting, we're approaching the individual scanners that people are walking through. And we finally approach the security, we have the TSA, all the security guards, and they're telling us to take everything off, uh, any accessories, jackets that we might have. So I throw everything up on the conveyor belt. We're slowly approaching the individual scanners. And I watch my mom go through all of my sisters and myself. And I uh, see the person, the security, directing me to walk through. I walk through and nothing happens. <laughs> I'm expecting bells and whistles, all the alarms to go off and guards to jump on me for some reason. But, uh, of course, me thinking too soon, uh, everything bad happens. And I take him to the side by these three or four security guards, my mom, and I get nervous and I see them taking everything that we had off, and they're rummaging through everything. And I look off the distance, I see this red, white, and what's the patriotic bag that they're going through, and they're pulling everything out of it. And I, I start crying, and I'm nervous, and I'm wearing this Hawaiian for some reason. I'm going to Georgia, I'm going to Georgia and I'm this Hawaiian t-shirt, snots just everywhere, and my mom is looking angrily at me. She's going to assume it's me who, who screwed up someone along the lines of that. <laughs> I don't know what can and cannot be brought up in your plane. But uh, I see them take stuff out, and I have this hard question, like, why would you bring a toy gun on, on a plane? And I look at this guy, and he's just kind of yelling at my face, and he's assuming I did it when I have a younger sister who is all about guns. She has nerf guns. You know, he's assuming I'm the one who did it, just because I'm the younger boy. And so I'm looking at this asshole, like, you know, look at these guys, you know, talk to my mom, it's not me. My mom's yelling at me, saying I, I really screwed up, and I'm just an hour or two goes by, and I'm, I feel like we're screwed. We're gonna miss our flight, and we are potentially fined up to like twenty thousand dollars. We're gonna be notified in the mail, and have everything just all all on us once we arrive home. So we're we're being questioned, interrogated, interrogated without being detained. But we're off to the side, and I see this huge long line of people that are still going through security. They have all our bags. So after a while, we're, I'm assuming we are going to miss our flight. My mom's still upset. I'm crying. My little sister, my little sister is kind of minding her own business. And the guards finally tell us we can board the plane. And an hour goes by, our flight's still waiting for us. So we, we're allowed to board. We can go through the gates, and the, they allow us to board. We're escorted onto the plane. I'm walking down the aisle. Uh, we're greeted by the, by the, not the, the captain, but one of the flight attendants, like, welcome to, you know, Delta Airlines, and everybody's looking at us, and it's just my mind, I just narrow down to a view, and everybody's looking at me, and we finally sit down, we walk down, it's like, walk the shame, it's really humiliating, 
and you sit down and I hear people whispering, talking, and it's probably about us because we held their flight by like two hours. And I hear my sister uh, whisper to my mom, like, it was me, mom, I, I put this little toy gun in, in the bag, and I'm sorry. And it's just, they all came down and like, I, I held the longest grudge, but it had been one of the most humiliating worst days of my life. Thank <laughs> you.